Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, the ban list is finally here. Let's get this shit on out of here. It is effective from 03-15-2021. This is not yet updated on the, uh, like the American side. We're going to check again. Uh, aha! It has been updated over here now, finally. Cool. So, this was updated, obviously, 311. The next uh, update after this will be no sooner than July 1st, and the previous list will remain in effect until March 15th. So that makes sense. So the upcoming remote duel will be under this ban list. So I've already seen this, and it's it's amazing. They banned Union Carrier. They banned Utopic Zexel. They banned True King of All Calamities. Thank God. This shit needed to go. Union Carrier gave Dragon Link and even uh, Union decks in general like ABC an ability to just bring out anything that they needed. It was a very good extender, uh, especially even in Dragon Link. Um, I'm really surprised that they did not go for Halki Fibrax, but I know that Union Carry did kind of combo well with Halki Fibrax through combos and extenders and whatever. Um, I think it's a very good hit. I think it's really what needed to be done. You top Exexel, you know, it literally is just like God saying no. You know, being able to go Numeron, Wall, into the field spell, and then just make shit. Like, that was not how Utopic Zexel was intended to be made, I feel. Um, it needed to be banned. Just something like that that stops your opponent from playing the game. It's just, it's it's not fair. It's not fair. And then True King of All Calamities is banned. Virtual World, I don't know what you're going to do. I don't know, like, are you going to start, like, looping hands now? Like, I don't know what the fuck you're going to be doing. Uh, yeah, True King of All Calamities, very fun dragon. Needed to go bye-bye. He needed to go bye-bye. He needed to be taken out back and shot in the head. So, thank God that that shit's gone. Uh, it needed to happen. That's it for the bands. Only three banned cards. On to the limiteds. We have Cyber Angel Ben 10. The only ritual monster to be on uh, a ban list or limited section, whatever you want to call it. This totally makes sense. You know, when you have a card like Ben 10 that's from an older day in Yu-Gi-Oh! before you had once per turn baby back bullshit, um, it's, it was just being able to be looped way too much. It was way too good. Leaving it at one, you know, if Drytron has the ability to recycle that one Ben 10, then okay, congratulations, you can do that. But they're going to have to waste more resources to do that. So, so far, they've hit Virtual World, they've hit Dragon Link, they've hit Drytron. Like, they're kind of hitting everything in this list so far. We move on to the semi-limits. There are no semi-limits, just Destiny Hero Malicious. Now, here's something that we've never seen before. Uh, a change that will not take effect until later on in a ban list lifespan. In this case, Firewall Dragon. Now, this is obviously because of the fact that Firewall Dragon had the errata, but that errata is not coming to us until April 14th of 2021. I thought that that was really, really interesting, um, along with everything else that they've done here. So, to three, we have Dragon Buster Destruction Sword. No reason for it to be banned because Union Carrier was, you know, taken out back. Firewall at three, with a little asterisk on April 14th, so you're going to have to wait another few weeks for that. Phantom Knights of Rusty Bardish was, bleh, I can't talk, of Rusty Bardish was at 1, now it's at 3. DeLorean was at 1, it's at 3. Ignister Prominence was at 1, it's at 3. Argent Chaos Force was banned, now it's back at 3. And True King's Return was at 2, it is now at 3. Um, you know, Dragon Buster Destruction True Lord, again, that's a Union Carry thing. Firewall, he's shit now, he's once per turn, it doesn't matter. Rusty Bardish, you know, he was at 1, nobody played him. I feel like with him being at 3... No one's really going to play him. DeLorean is really not good anymore, so it could be at three. Ignister Prominence has not been played in years. This card has been at one since the Pepe format back in like 2014, 2015, and, uh, or 2016, whatever it was. And really, I mean, you know, Pendulums have sort of fallen to the wayside at this point. You know, there's really no reason to keep a card like that on the limited list. Bring it back to three. It gives Pendulums a little bit of something extra to work with, but at the same time, not really, because it's like... You know, what are they going to do? They don't have Electromite. Uh, Argent Chaos Force, again, bringing it back um, because of Zexel. I felt like a lot of these cards were because of cards that were in the format like Zexel and Union Carry, things like that. Now that those cards have been taken out of the equation, you can now see a lot of cards come back because you don't have to worry about them being abused. Uh, True King's Return, 
Uh, there's one guy in all of my town uh, in Jacksonville, Florida, that plays True Draco, and apparently he's a cheater, so good for him. He can now play one more copy of True King's Return. <laughs> so, yeah, this is a very interesting list. You know, they took a hit at Drytron, they took a hit at Dragon Link, they took a hit, I guess, indirectly also with ABC because of Union Carrier, but I mean, nobody plays ABC. So, you top Exexel, uh, yeah, if you were playing that Kitchen Sink deck or Subterra Numeron, whatever, it's dead. Anything Numeron, I feel, is just dead, unless you're just going to blind go second with the deck and hope for the best. VFD, I mean, that hurts, like, what, Dinosaur and Virtual World, I guess? Um, Misk is not hit. Mystic Mine is not hit. Thank God. I can still troll the shit out of people with Mystic Mine. I am so happy. Um, and yeah, so you're looking at a total of what? One, two, uh, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven changes on this list. So a pretty big list. And the next update after this will be uh, no sooner than July. So you're looking at what? Uh, April, May, June, July. You're looking at four months. Um, that's really not bad. I'm thinking, honestly, this is sort of um, a long shot here, but I think we're going to see events come back by July. I really, really am hoping that that's the case. Um, they don't have anything here to say. Yeah, so hopefully come uh, July. Wait, what? Oh, okay, well, all of a sudden uh, the list is not updated here, but yet it's updated here. So that's, oh, now it's just not updated again. That's really weird. Um, but, okay, that's, that's really weird. Okay. Uh, whatever, Konami. Y'all saw the ban list. <laughs> so, guys, please, let me know what you think in the comments below. Um, this is very interesting. Uh, especially, too, because Dragon Buster Destruction Sword was banned on the last list, and now he's already back at three. <laughs> so, guys, please, let me know what you think in the comments below about this ban list, and as always, subscribe if you have not already.